Who knew that inflation was going to be 6.2% here in October? Who knew? Because right now, inflation is more than people are earning at the banks. People are not earning a purchasing power. They're losing purchasing power. The cash is turning into trash. So it's to the point where it's just not nice for you to make $250,000 a year. It's like you have to be a quarter million dollar income. And if you really want to live a life, guess what you guys start really making? You guys start making seven figures. Liquid, not on paper. Like cash flow millionaire. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. Guys, there's levels to this game. There's levels to this game. Let me ask you guys a question. When it comes to your goals, your dreams, the things that you want, do you want to do it <clears throat> sometime down the future, like eventually? Or do you want to start experiencing it now? No. So your, your actions determine whether you're part of the eventual camp or the now camp. Okay, you, you got out of college. We were talking about college earlier, whether you have a degree or not degree. You, you start getting a job. Cool, you got a job, right? You start getting a little bit of a pay raise, right? You're making more, a little bit more money than everybody else with inside that company. Or you work in a different department. Everybody within inside that department, you start making a little bit more money than them. You're, you are progressing. Good annual reviews. You're, you're doing the whole corporate thing. Well, guess what? You're now starting to progress. You went from the bottom of that level. Now you're ra rising to the top of that level. You're no longer part of the 80% of people in that, in that uh, department or that income range. You're now in the top 20% of that range. Guess what now? You're now at the, you're at the bottom of the next level. So, so you're making, uh, you're making 20,000 a year, 30,000 a year, 30, 40,000, 50,000 a year, 80,000 a year. Awesome. Guess what? You're not at the bottom of the next level. You're making 80,000 a year, 90,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 150, 200,000, 250, 300,000. Great. You're at the top of the next level there, but now you're at the bottom of the next level. Man, this is so annoying. I know. The question for you is how big is your dream? Have you actually done the math and what it takes financially to take care of your parents? What it takes to retire to people that you love and care about? And whatever you factor in the beginning of this year, make sure you increase it by 20%. Who knew that inflation was going to be 6.2% here in October? Who knew? Honestly, when's the last time you checked the price of gas? Today. Today, of course. Today. Why? Do you know why? Because here's the thing with cost. Here's, here's what happens with... <laughs> this is CPI, Consumer Price Index, right? Here's what starts happening. It's, it's right here. Everything, inflation. Inflation hits people right here. It's called the silent tax. It hits people that are making less than $80,000, $90,000, $100,000 a year, the most. Okay? And that's inflation. Guess where inflation is starting to creep up to? Up here. Important fact. $117,000 a year in the nine counties of the Bay Area is considered low income. Six figures is considered low income in the Bay Area. Think about what apartment costs in New York. Have you thought about living in New York? Central Park. Uh, 800, uh, uh, if, you ever, if you ever look at a, a 800, 900 foot studio or even a 950 one bedroom apartment, you know what it costs? 2,500, $3,000 for an apartment that small. When you open the door, you, when you open the door, you hit the kitchen, <laughs> right? You go to the bathroom, if you have a bad burrito, everybody in the apartment knows about it, right? Where's the fee breeze at? Fee breeze is costing more money these days, you know, inflation. Right, get away from the food, I don't wanna smoke my food with that scent, you know? But inflation is starting to creep up here. What, 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 what's everybody asking Biden to do right now in terms of oil reserves? Hey, didn't the country stack oil in our oil reserves in our country because we are in, in, uh, energy independent, right? right? Well, how come we're still dependent upon what OPEC says? Uh, 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 Aramco, first trillion dollar company in the history of the world. Oil company, right? First trillion dollar company, Saudi Arabia. They said, you know what? Yeah, we're not gonna increase production. What happens if they increase production? There's more supply, mm -hmm. and there's more supply to meet the demand. Guess what happens to the cost? It goes no. down. What happens if the demand is high and they don't increase the supply? 
The price will still rise up. Okay, what happens when the qualitative easing, when the Federal Reserve has what they call the taper, they're tapering of how many bonds are buying in, in, in our country, creating liquidity and capital with inside the markets. Guess what happens now when the Federal Reserve starts tapering that at $15 billion a month, $20 billion a month. They're starting to taper of what they're putting into the economy. Because right now the economy today is on steroids. People don't realize it. The economy right now is on steroids. Guess what's going to start happening to, guess what's going to start happening to interest rates? They're, they're going to start going up. Why? Because there's less money in the market. Because right now we're at very low interest rates. That's why your credit cards are low, your car loans are low. Are low. By the way, if it's your credit, that's your problem. Right? <laughs> but the reason why, even with, with bad credit, the interest rates are still fairly low. Guess what starts happening when the, uh, the, the, the Federal Reserve starts tapering back what they're putting back into the economy? The interest rates are starting to go higher. The good news is the bank accounts, the savings accounts are going to go higher too as well. The downside is people aren't going to be buying homes as much. People aren't going to be taking a, uh, 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 personal loans as much. People aren't going to put, uh, put uh, 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 credit card charges as much. People aren't going to uh, go to school with those students because they're going to be much higher interest rates. So it's a ripple effect across our economy. You guys, you guys follow that? So now, think about it. Let's say you're a bondholder. Okay? We're, we're, we're kiki. You're a bondholder, right? You own a bond at 1%. And then the government starts issuing bonds at 2%. Guess what she has to do with her 1% bond? Well, I want the 2% bond. Wouldn't you want a, a, a higher interest rate? If she's earning interest at 1%, guess what she wants? So if she holds the 10-year bond rate and she wants to sell it in five years, guess what she has to pay? Penalty. A penalty. She has to sell her bond at a discount in order to buy the bond at 2%. You guys, you guys follow me? And by the way, it's good for us in the insurance industry because the, the higher the bond rate, the more insurance companies can pay higher interest rates to the cash values inside of policies and they don't have to take any money away from your commissions. Though a higher a bond rate is actually good for us, but it's bad for the consumer. So here's the thing too, so if that starts happening, guess what's gonna to happen to the inflation index? It's gonna go up even higher. One out of 10 people even today making six figures are living paycheck to paycheck. So it's to the point where it's just not nice for you to make $250,000 a year. It's like you have to be a quarter million dollar income. And if you really want to live a life, guess what you guys start really making? $500,000. If you want to take care of people outside of your immediate family, I'm talking about your kids, your, your husband, your, your husband, your wife, you want to take care of in-laws, guess what you really got to start making? You got to start making seven figures. Liquid, not on paper. Like cash flow millionaire. Thing is, this is going to keep, this is going to keep creeping up. By the way, do you have any control over this? No. Do you have control over do you have control over this? Yeah. You have control over cash flow? Yeah. Do you have control as an income? But here, clarity. Are you clear about what you want? Yeah. Are you really? Uh, a few people are. Okay, this is how I know how clear I know you are. How much money does it really take for you to run your family budget, your business budget, and take care of your family members that you want to take care of? So it costs seven fifty thousand dollars. Okay, now, what happens when you're clear? You get less distracted. You stop asking stupid questions, and you start asking the right questions. Okay, clarity, vision. Is it part of the past or is it locked into the future? I know you're thinking about the future when you're talking about what you're going to become. I know you're locked into the past. We all talk about is your sob story. Didn't I mention earlier in this conversation, everybody here has a sob story? Yep. Some deeper than others. Mm -hmm. And we're, everybody's respected. But when I hear somebody share the same story, sob story to this person, to this person, to this person, you know, you know what I think in my mind? Why are they trying to manipulate other people to start feeling sorry for them? Like when you start saying that to other people, that's a manipulative thing. Well, you don't understand my life, though. Well, you don't understand my life, though. You know, listen, you're not saying that to other people, so therefore you don't, you're trying to get yourself a pass, so therefore you don't have to perform. You're trying to give yourself a handicap. Ooh. This is my excuse, so therefore I don't get called out on competition. Thing is, thing is, who's talking to you like this? <laughs> Who expects more from you? Who, who's actually a asking you the tough question that you need to find an answer to? Really? Once a week you get this tough conversation. And by the way, just FYI, I wasn't here to start Dallas to be liked. 
I started Dallas here to make financially, financially independent people. I came into Dallas here to make sure that we have a crusade, that we make more people financially independent and free, so that for they do it in their life what they want to do, not what they, ha what they are left, they don't give their family their leftovers. You want to give your family your leftovers or your very best? You know, I, I, was, I was on my Instagram story the other day, because you know, like part of my morning routine is just walking around the block with my son. Just hanging out with my kids, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. You know what I was doing when I was broke? I was in, I was in freaking, trying to put in car seats and Cheerios out of the damn cars. He was getting jammed, was jammed of the buckles. <laughs> Hurry up, we're late. Ready for school. And you gotta stand in this big old line to drop your kid off at school. And you gotta go across town because you, you got another school to drop the kids off at too. It's, it's not that way when you're financially free, financially independent. Are you clear about that though? Do you want to play offense? Are you pissed off about being pissed off? What price do you have to pay? What are you presently working on and what price do you have to pay? What are you presently working on and what price are you willing to pay? What are you presently working on and what price do you have to pay? Okay, I'll give you an example. I'm working on making sure I don't have to go back to my job. Okay, so what income do you need? For, for example, let's say you're making 50000 a year. What income do you really need to make as an entrepreneur to make sure you net pay your tax because you're no longer paying uh, through FICA and all that stuff, right? Now you've got to pay self-employment tax, which is 13.5%. How much income do you really need to bring home so therefore you net $50,000? Just to be safe. Right, right now, eighty-five to 90000 you need to make eighty-five, ninety thousand dollars right now to take home fifty. If you and now, if you want to make six figures, what do you got to make? If you want to take home six figures, what do you have to make? About a buck fifty. About a buck fifty. If you want to say I'm a net, I'm a net, I'm a net six-figure income earner after after uh, uh, um, taxes, I need to bring home one fifty. If you have responsibility like tithes and savings and investings. You need, make, you need to make $150,000. If you want to say you want to become a cash flow millionaire, what do you got to make? At least 1.3. 1.35, mm -hmm. right? Pay the taxes. <laughs> you, you know you've like, like I, I remember coming up, I remember saying to myself, man, I'm an adult today. Why? Because mm -hmm. instead of going to the tire store to just patch up my tire for 50 bucks, I can afford to go to the tire store and not only replace the tire, but all the other three too as well. <laughs> I'm an adult, I just bought four brand new tires. I'm an adult, everybody. I'm an adult. Like you're an adult in business when you pay six figures in income taxes. <laughs> like you, like okay, you've be, you got some, you, know, you got some, uh, some decent taxes you're paying because you're making some very good money. People don't have a people don't have a necessary financial problem. They have a more specifically a income problem. The reason why people are getting affected by inflation is because they're not making enough money. Period. The reason why a boss can push you around is because you don't have enough savings. Think about this real quick. If you had $50,000 in savings, $100,000 in savings, the boss told you to try to push you around, can you leave the job and have comments only you can find another one? Sure. Well, by the way, how much more valuable are you as an employee if you had $50,000 in savings? Hmm. You're much more valuable, right? Why? Why are you much more valuable? Because you're, you're, you're not worried about giving your opinion and getting fired for it. A person with savings has power. Here's a problem with people to try to accumulate their savings. They, they diversify their efforts in too many damn things. I want to do real estate. I want to do crypto. I want to do wholesaling. I want to do fix and flips. Guys, one thing. Find one thing. Make your millions first and then diversify. Because sometimes people do this. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Multiple streams of income. It's not multiple streams, bro. You got sprinkles. You got sprinkles. Well, I got to do this. I got, I got to do credit repair. I got to do property and casualty. I got to do real estate. I got to do crypto. I got to do Forex. I got to da 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 And then I, I want to go to school to become a lawyer so I can do my own real estate closings. Damn. Can you find one thing? How many guys, how many guys like, uh, I don't know, who, who are you more a fan of, McDonald's or In-N-Out? In-N-Out. Cali. Oh, freaking, I love In-N-Out. Animal style, double, double. <laughs> I just made 90% of you hungry right now. Yeah. Okay. How sophisticated is the damn in and out menu? How many burgers do they have? Like four. Three. 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 Are they the, 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 they have the Beyond one now or the chicken, whatever? Uh, single, single, uh, 
S hamburger, uh, yeah, hamburger, cheeseburger, and double double. There you go. Thank you. And fries, animal style, Thousand Island dressing. Ooh. All they have is what? Three burgers. And they're billion dollar, they're, they have multiple, multiple billions in sales. So why do you think you need to be all things to all people? Okay, so think about this real quick. Now that you have an income, now that you know how to solve the income problem, here's a question you gotta ask yourself. How many sales do I need to make? All it is right now is fill in the blank. This business is very simple. So how many sales do you need to do? How much can you do? How many sales can you physically do a week? What about your team? Or should you be doing those sales? Number, uh, number three, can you teach it? Is what you're thinking, can you teach what you do? Is, is this business teachable? Yes. Great, can you teach it, can you delegate? Is it, is it gonna be you or a team of 10? Okay, last but not least. Number four, when? Now. <laughs> now. I've been getting on this guy because he's sporadic with his attendance. I'm so pr proud of him being here. Two meetings in a row. Let's <laughs> go.